Okay, uh, so here I just want to give you a very quick demo of the AWS Educate and also how can we, uh, through AWS Educate, that we can use those uh, free AWS uh, resources. So first, we need to go to the AWS Educate website. That is not the normal AWS uh, website. And next, we need to sign in. So this is where you need to provide your uh, email and also uh, your password. Um, so I'm signing with my student account. Okay, um, so now this is the interface. Um, where you can see my cast classrooms. So this is where you will see all the classrooms that you have enrolled. So if you open it, uh, normally it will take a few seconds that to load the list of the classrooms. And now you can see here, I have already enrolled many class. Um, you need to find out the class that you uh, you have enrolled for uh, for this one. So that is this one, so machine learning and also artificial intelligence. And you can see here uh, that is when the classroom will be closed. And also for this class, uh, you have uh, $50 credits so that you can play with. And those $50 credits will expire after this date, okay? And you can use those $50 um, by going to the classroom and now you can open those, um, running those services. Okay, uh, we'll come here later. So next, uh, you, this is where you can build your portfolio so that uh, you can add your experience, course project, etc. And uh, you can show that uh, what classes are you taking on AWS Educator. So those are called career pathways. And also whether or not you have earned any digital credentials and also if you, you can also upload your resume here. So if you want to build your uh, portfolio on AWS Educate and also if you want to share it with the recruiters. Uh, career pathways are those uh, free online courses. So um, normally you will need to take like, I would say at least one month that uh, each class uh, focus on one specific topic like data scientist, uh, machine learning scientist, etc. All of them are free. So if you just click start and you can choose your language and that will load that class. So um, you will be uh, directed to uh, um, a learning environment that is similar to Canvas, and you will need to um, watch those videos, answer those questions. And if you have successfully completed uh, those courses, and you will have those digital credentials, uh, which will be showing up here. And also, you can upload that one to LinkedIn. Um, the badges. Uh, it's similar to career pathways, but those are short uh, classes or that focus on one, one specific uh, topic. So for example, if you're interested in a deep lens or deep racer or uh, Alexa, okay, so for example, if you want to customize your own cloud-based voice services, and uh, you can take those courses. So those will take um, about uh, one week, I would say. Uh, it is, uh, but so those were short period um, classes that you can take, and also you can earn those credentials if you successfully complete those short courses. And again, you can post that one to your uh, portfolio. Um, you can also post that one onto LinkedIn. And jobs. So here you can search jobs. So that uh, you can find out that there are many companies they are looking for um, people that uh, know um, how to use machine learning, etc. So for example, if we type machine learning, you can also fill out by countries and you can see that those are several companies those are looking for people that know machine learning. And also, they also prefer that people also took those career pathways. Okay, so if you took those career pathways, uh, so you may be stand out and also um, uh, get their attention easier. So you can also define your job alerts and also interview accelerators, uh, which is something that's pretty new. Um, 
basically that means that it does educate well help you to get interviews uh, from uh, with hiring companies okay and <coughs> AWS account okay so as an educator as a student uh, so you are in addition to the classrooms you can you also have I would say about 100 credits that is your uh, credits and you can use that one uh, for anything that you like so you can just access this starter account console and in that console you can spend those 100 credits those credits will be renewed each year as long as you are still a student okay so you can see right now my credits will expire in april 6 but i can still renew my status and i will have another 100 credits after uh, april uh, so if you click that, that will direct you to this um, uh, page where you can see you have those remaining credits. And if you click uh, AWS console, so that will direct you to the AWS console. So where you can spend those. Uh, right now I have 74 credits, but your, in your account you should have about 100 credits and you can spend your credits from there. Okay, so AWS account, start to account, they, this is your credits, you can control those, you can use those credits for uh, to use any services that are available. Back click this one. However, so if you go to my classrooms, and if you go to the class of this, um, of this class, and if you go to the classrooms, uh, where you have those 50 credits, those are requested by me, so by your instructor. And you can see we will see a similar interface. And those 50 credits will expire after this class finish. And you can use those um, 50 credits uh, in the, for, uh, for this class only. And of course, if you are enrolled into any other classes and the other class will give you more credits. For example, this class, I give 200 credits for this class only. Okay, uh, so next, no matter you're using start account or for classroom account, uh, to use those credits, you need click to go to AWS console. Again, for this class, I, I would highly recommend that you are using those 50 credits that assigned for this class. So go to this classroom and go to AWS console. Okay, so now we see the interface of AWS console and this will, this is exactly the same interface if you have a full privilege account or if you have a normal AWS account. Where you can see there are so many services, and if you expand all services, as I said, there are more than 5,000 services. Um, so let's look at some service. So let's first, let's say S3. So if you type S3, okay, the first one. So S3 is a, is a solution for data link. So where you can create those bar keys, okay? And you can create more, no more than 100 bar keys. And within each bar keys, Bucket is like a folder where you can upload the data. Uh, let's also look at IAM. So manage access. So this is a service that where you can give different rules and also authorize different users. Uh, for student account, you are not allowed to authorize other users. So that's why some functions are disabled so you because we are not using the full privilege account. Uh, I also mentioned SageMaker. So SageMaker is the middle layer of the machine learning stack where you can build your notebook instances. Okay. Um, and you can build, uh, bring your algorithms or you can use their existing algorithms. Okay, uh, so let's look at some other AR services. So let's say, um, let's start from here. So you can see the forecast, um, comprehend, recognition, text, track, trans, 
transcribe, translate, etc. So let's look at comprehend. Okay, uh, so you can launch the comprehend, or you can do a real-time analysis. So let's say we want to do a real-time analysis, where you can see you can type some text, and you can click analyze. So they are able to extract those entities like person, organization, quantities, date, etc. And also you can able to extract the key phrases and also language. Okay, so this is in English. And the personal identification, identify, uh, identification information like name, date, etc. Uh, they can perform sentimental analysis. Uh, you can see this uh, sentence is neutral. Uh, you can also an do analyze the syntax. Okay, so let's try something. So let's try to type something. So let's go to GME website. Uh, let's copy and paste a news. Uh, let's see health update. Okay, so let's copy this one. And let's delete everything in this text box and also put that and say analyze. Okay, so if we do an entity analysis, and you can see we have GMU is recognized as organization, date, event, uh, organization, etc. And if you look at key phrases, health update, November 2, uh, GMU, etc., students, flexibility. Okay, and it is in English. The confidence is pretty high. Uh, personal identification information. So it I recognize like the email, date, phone number, etc. And also the sentimental. So it is very neutral and also um, confident, uh, positive. Okay, uh, so that is a uh, very simple use, easy to use. So that is uh, for the uh, natural language processing. Let's also look at uh, the image process, so recognition. So for the recognitions, uh, you can, let's see some demos. So they can do the object and also scene detection. Okay, so for example, in this image, we have cars, uh, humans, and also persons. Okay, and if we try a different image, you can see it is a city, and we have buildings, Etc. Okay, uh, let's also bring some other image. that say we go to GME website. Uh, I'm just going to download this image. Okay, I'm going to save to my downloads folder. And here I'm going to upload from my downloads folder. Okay, so now you can see it is urban roof landscape autodolls okay uh, we can also do some like facial analysis okay so like a face and also they can guess the gender the age and also if that's smelling happy uh, wearing glasses or not okay uh, you can also upload the other images that you are interested uh, we can also compare the facials Okay, are they the same person or not? Um, you can also extract images. Okay, so find some of here. Uh, let's try, also try our images. So, so if they can, now they can say help student has been recognized. COVID emergency student support also has been recognized. And this is an error. So they thought this is a text, actually it's not. Uh, they also have the new uh, service that is called PPE detection. So um, they can identify whether or not the person is wearing PPE, etc. Okay, uh, so this is a very quick demo so that you can see that AWS has so many services and most of those, those services that you can use um, by using their console. Okay, uh, you can also use those services by calling their APIs. So if you know how to use Python as a program language.